What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake, and in today's video, it's like an arms race out there right now. Not only between countries, but also between developers trying to figure out how to be the leader in AI and rendering with GPU compute power. There are many different projects out there that have tried to tackle this goal, one of those being Flux. You also have Clore.ai, you've got platforms like Vast.ai, and many, many others. I stumbled across something today on Twitter that really caught my attention. Now, initially, I assumed that this was a scam, but upon further review, I'm really intrigued, and I want to share what I learned with you guys today. So what we found is something called GPUtopia. Now, their website is very basic, and it says, Your GPU Marketplace, the easiest way to buy and sell GPU capacity. And if we click on Join the Beta here, it says, Welcome to the GPUtopia Beta. No special software needed, just a Chrome browser. Most desktops and laptops supported get paid automatically to your Albi Lightning wallet. Click the green button and log in with your Albi to get started. Why are we doing this? We're building a marketplace for GPU compute. Sellers rent out their GPU compute in exchange for Bitcoin. Buyers pay Bitcoin to use GPU compute for AI training and inference. In this first version, we are focusing on the seller experience. We want to make it as easy as possible for you to sell your GPU compute. For now, GPUtopia is the buyer of your compute. Soon, we'll open this up to other buyers. How does it work? GPUtopia uses a portion of your computer's GPU via web GPU. Now, that particular term is something that I wasn't very familiar with, and we're going to go over that in detail, but let's continue. A new web standard that was recently added to newer versions of Chrome. First, your browser needs to download a language model. This is a 4 gigabyte file that will be stored in your browser's cache. This will take a few minutes to download, then about 20 seconds to load from cache on future visits. You can see how this works in MLC Web LLM repo. Once you've got the model loaded, our system marks you available to receive inference jobs. Currently, we send a demo inference job to all connected users every 15 seconds. This job may take 15 to 30 seconds to complete, depending on your GPU and the size of the job. When your computer finishes the inference job, it sends that back to our server, and we reward you in some Bitcoin directly to your Albi wallet. It takes about two minutes to create an Albi wallet if you don't already have one. Then you'll be ready to start earning Bitcoin. Learn more about Albi on their website. So I went through the trouble of going all the way through this. And like I said, initially I thought this had to be some type of scam. And so one of the things that I did was created a dummy account in order to download this on the Chrome browser. So the first thing that came to mind when I saw this was, how are they going to do this with no special software needed and just on a Chrome browser? The second thing that I thought was, what the hell is Albi Lightning Wallet? It is not something that I had heard of before, so of course I was skeptical. So let's talk about how they're able to do this with just your browser for a moment. So if you're not familiar with the term WebGPU, you may have heard the term WebGL before. WebGPU is just a newer version of that. And there are two things that this accomplishes through your browser and your GPU. Number one, it draws triangles, points, lines, and textures. And number two, it runs computations on the GPU. But in order to get a better understanding exactly what this means, I'm going to let the experts or the developers from Chrome explain in detail exactly what's going on here. WebGPU is the successor to WebGL, which brings the advancement of this new class of modern APIs to the web. WebGPU unlocks a lot of new GPU programming possibilities in the browser. It both better reflects how modern GPU hardware works, and it lays a foundation on which we can build even more advanced GPU capabilities in the future. WebGPU is also useful to accelerate machine learning, which has become a major use of GPUs in recent years. For a long time, 
creative developers have been repurposing WebGL's rendering API to perform non-rendering operations, such as machine learning computations. However, this requires drawing the pixels of triangles as a way to initiate the computation and carefully packing and unpacking tensor data in textures instead of more general purpose memory accesses. It requires developers to awkwardly conform their code to the expectations of an API designed only for drawing. Combined with the lack of basic features like shared memory accesses between computations, this leads to duplicate work and suboptimal performance. Compute shaders are WebGPU's primary new feature and remove these pain points. Compute shaders offer a more flexible programming model that takes advantage of the GPU's massively parallel nature while not being constrained by the strict structure of rendering operations. This gives more opportunity for sharing data and computation results within groups of shader work for better efficiency. This can lead to significant gains over previous attempts to use WebGL for the same purpose. As an example of the efficiency gains this can bring, an initial port of an image diffusion model in TensorFlow.js shows a 3x performance gain on a variety of hardware when moved from WebGL to WebGPU. On some hardware we tested, the image can be rendered in under 10 seconds. And because this was an early port, we believe there are even more improvements possible in both WebGPU and TensorFlow.js. So back to the Albi wallet here for just a moment. Now, Albi is something that I'm not familiar with, but I did discover that it is in fact open source. And according to what I found so far, I assume that it is a non-malicious wallet. Now, it is similar in operation to something like MetaMask because it is in your browser. So I do not recommend installing this on the browser that is tied to your own personal account. I would create a new one just to be on the safe side. And in fact, we've already done this and I'm gonna walk you through the process. So now that we understand how to install this and how it works, it's time to take a little closer look as to whether or not this is something that could be successful. Now, my initial impressions of this are not great. This seems like it is in beta and could potentially be in beta for quite some time. The other thing that concerns me is what is stopping other people from creating something identical to this and just stealing the intellectual property? At this point, I don't know the answers to that, so something to be aware of. Other things to be aware of is the fact that right now, they do not have a customer-facing side, meaning the only way that you are getting paid currently is directly from GPUtopia and not from anybody actually renting your hardware. They have not set that part of it up yet, and that could potentially take some time. It's also probably going to be a very clunky experience for both renters and buyers of the GPU compute power. So now that we've had an opportunity to explore what GPUtopia is, there's a few key takeaways I would like to point out. Number one, GPUtopia is still in the early stages of beta and has a long way to go. Number two, we don't yet know who is behind it and whether or not they have the resources to follow through with this great idea. And number three, there may also be limitations and inefficiencies on what task can be performed on a GPU using a browser as compared to traditional software solutions. The big question now is whether or not this new option will make projects like Flux, Clore, and others obsolete or too complex to compete with the simplicity of this new technology. I would love to hear from you guys down in the comments below, but for now, that's going to do it for this episode. Be sure to hit that like button, and if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so, and I'll see you on the next one.